by half past six, and I actually have slept for the first time properly in uh, this tent. Let's look at my own tent, which is really nice. It means I don't get woken up by anybody else. And I've got hot chocolate. So we've got a long day. Got about four hours worth of walking. Then we'll rest. And then we do midnight tonight. We do the climb to the summit. So this is going to be the hard day. <laughs> I want to sleep. Patrick, good morning. Say, say good morning. Good morning. There you go. Patrick's from Ireland, but we won't have that against him. It's Kill Kenny. It's Patrick's tent. Toilet block over there, which we all absolutely hate. A few more tents, 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 tents. There's Joe, there's Francesca, there's Simon out for the breakfast tent. There's about, four, about 42 uh, porters here to look after us, it's about three each. But we've got um, we've got tents to carry, we've got our luggage to carry, food for the whole time to carry, toilets to carry. So they're doing an amazing job. I just wanted to show you something. Some water was left overnight in the uh, washing bowl. And overnight, it's turned to this thick ice in a couple of hours. Absolutely freezing last night. So, uh, looking forward to getting back to my hotel room and uh, having a nice warm shower and getting out of these filthy clothes. Okay, breakfast time. We're going yeah. to climb the monster at midnight. Yeah. So, you can see the path leading up to Kilimanjaro. Just about to see it over there. We're going to make our way to Kiba Hut where we're going to uh, camp, have some food for a few hours, get a bit of rest, then get up at midnight. So, uh, still got a fair bit to do. Actually, got a lot to do actually. <laughs> Now if you look here, this is the remains of a plane which crashed just at the bottom of the uh, summit of Kilimanjaro in November last year. Um, four people died and a pilot. And uh, it's quite weird the fact that nothing's been cleared. But again, why would you? It's just, you know, November last year, not long ago. All I can say is I really hope it's not precision air because they're flying me back to Nairobi in a couple of days' time. So, uh, just a reminder really of how dangerous this area is. Are you going to make it? Yeah. Good man. <coughs> I've just arrived at Key Road. Hut, which is the um, last place we camp before we climb to the summit tonight. I'm the highest I've ever been in my entire life. I could sleep for a lifetime. I'm exhausted. After it comes bloody thing again. Nice. Um, just about to have my final dinner for the ascent in six hours time. Really not feeling well, thumping headache and um, just pulled up my breakfast and my lunch at the same time so I really need to make sure that I um, get rid of the headache, eat lots of calories and um, hopefully be right. 
it's by midnight. Oh, we're about to set off. Can't wait to see anybody. We won't be able to see the stars, but anyway, we're about to set off. So I'll, I'll check in with you guys later. It's uh, two minutes past four in the morning. I've now reached the halfway point. So I've got another three hours, so hopefully we reach the summit. Cold, tired, and I would love to sleep for about a second and a half. Hopefully we'll get it. Feeling weak, tired, headache, and not particularly set them up with puke. But anyway. Turn to see uh, this is it. I'm now at Gilman's Point, yeah. which is um, 5681 metres. I'm not the highest point at Kilimanjaro yet. A little bit to go, but fucking hell. I'm pretty much there. And this is a weird, one of the most, I'm the most exhausted I've ever been in my entire life. My absolute male. Well, would you believe it? I've done it. I am, uh, there you go, see, that's the sign. One more. I'm at the top of the world's um, highest freestanding mountain. See, loads of snow over there. And over there. And over there. So, I did it. The times up today we thought I wouldn't do it. Yeah, but um so we got quite a lot of time a days ago. Pain is temporary failure. Well failure lasts a lifetime. <sighs> weird. Fucking weird. Now for a million years I'd be able to do this. I have.